this is the energy vibration lesson for the Sun moon and rising um, Virgos I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, thank you for your likes shares and support um, thank you so much for the wonderful um, support that you have been given the energies for this month for you guys the energy of the month and please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and um, call upon your guides for help in this month you have um, the energy of the month is the energy of the rat from fortune this is very good the wheel of fortune is the energy of the month a fire sign you have the energy of the chariots a lot of changes a lot of the movement is going to be happening and um, in this month the general energies is the energy of the tower which you also have for your energy vibration for this month it is a month where the zodiac energy is the energy of air in the two first weeks in the second week the energy is going to be water okay um, um, the, the the month of February has four weeks four weeks so again you have a fire energy um, in the month of February so congratulations to this you have the energy of the tower this is the energy of the tower that you have for your energy vibration for February so let's see what is happening in these four weeks your first week you have the energy of the three of arts in the reverse form so there is no art break okay whatever that was lost the energy of the tower comes up you have no loss there is nothing no loss has happened for you it is a loss for others but not for you then in the second week we have the energy of um, the devil the energy of the devil and the energy of the devil is um, you know the energy of you working with the Aquarians and uh, a lot of uh, miss things that is awry and uh, this sort of energy of um, lower energies lower people situations that is coming up and the tower is going to break all of this down because it's the energy of the month so if you had what art breaks and loss in the period before not to worry because this is going to be ill in the third week you have the energy of the wheel of fortune so this is good it can be also karmatic situations that has transpire for you in the first week to have the art break and in the second week the energy of the devil in the third week you have the general energies in the third week is the energy of the moon so the energy of the moon and your intuitions and guides are saying that whatever has transpired it was in a karmatic situation okay um, in the third week but the the, the 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 wheel of fortune is the energy vibration of the month and it's coming back in your week the tower is also the in the first week of the general energies and it is coming back so it's going to be wonderful it's as if the universe is working with you in the fourth week you have the energies of the lovers so you have two major or common the fortune the lovers so a lot of you are going to be come um, in connection with karmatic um, people in love and in business and in your social life so 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 the last week you have the energy of the, the the general energy of the Sun with a lover so this is going to be powerful it's going to be extremely extremely power so recap your week um, the the general energy of the first week is the energy of the tower and you all you have the three of swords and with the energy of the tower and the three of swords is that and it is in reverse so there is no um, art break there's no art feeling it's as if the tower came remove certain people and situation out of your life and it was um, a positive one the second week the energy of the star is here and the energy of the devil so it can work in two ways it can be that some people are uh, you know become the star of something and there's a lot of hate 
that is coming at them but not to worry because this is going to be working out perfectly for you so we are going to look and see what is connecting the first and the second week and we have the energy of the five of Pentacles in reverse and this is wonderful to have this energy in reverse this is a wonderful energy so um, whatever the outbreak was with your financial situation and the energy of the devil the devil kind of come in and try to block that uh, um, you know block your financial situation now it is in the five of Pentacles is in reverse so your financial situation or you know let's say you weren't having work because without work your financial situation is not going to balance out um, the energy of the tower comes to break and remove uh, um, what was happening as we look at the second week connecting with the third week there is the energy of the Sun of Pentacles so this is going to affect people between the ages of 18 and 40 whatever the situation is is going to affect the people between 18 and 40 and this energy of the Sun this is connecting um, the energy of fire to fire so it, it, it can be good for um, you guys you know you men or women between the ages of 18 and 40 that the energy of the devil is going to bring you you know um, your financial stability in balance um, you know the wheel of fortune and that sort of a thing is going to be coming and bring in but the wheel of fortune is actually um, bringing you the lovers you you know someone who you're going to be connecting with so let's look and see what the wheel of fortune and the lovers are bringing you guys it's bringing you the mother of wands the mother of wands and it's a karmatic situation the mother of wands this could be your mother if your mother is a Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, it is a karmatic situation that is playing out with you and this person it could be someone who um, you look up to and is very important and who has the nurturing energies with you which is um, the wheel of fortune and the lovers so uh, this is and could be very wonderful and very very positive because uh, it's as if they're bringing you together and this is wonderful so let's move forward and let's look at uh, what is happening with the energy of the five of Pentacles and uh, the son of Pentacles because the son of Pentacles is always it's like a messenger but in this sense it can also because what I'm seeing is that there is a negative energy that tries to block your financial um, um, stability okay and this is going to be happening for the men the people between the ages of 18 and 40 but let's see what is going to happen to this situation if it's going to be okay daughter of cups the daughter of cups so what I am understanding is that the energy of the devil um, it, it is a sense that it's there are horrible people that try to work against you to block your financial situation and this was someone um, and this can be someone who is younger than you all uh, but um, for the people between the ages of 18 and 40 is someone who is in your age group that is trying but this person is going to come in and help you this is what I'm receiving this person is going to come in and help you this daughter of cups okay as we move forward and we're looking and seeing what is happening with the wheel of fortune and uh, you people because um if your mother if you're having a situation with your mother who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius some of you could be having situation it could be with um, someone at work or someone who is um, have a karmatic um, situation to work out with you it could be your mom who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so let's see what is transpiring um, between you and this person uh, the seven of uh, Pentacles the seven of Pentacles so 
obviously um, for you young people there is a situation and your mom could be the daughter of sorts your mom could be your mom and you could be working on something because it's as if the universe brought you and your mom back together to deal with a situation that has to do with a monetary situation so some of you if your your mom is and Aries Leo or Sagittarius you are going to be helping her out to balance her financial situation and this is going to be good okay because it's a karmatic situation and um, the um, the, the Wheel of Fortune is bringing wonderful uh, support and situation um, for both of you. The Daughter of Cups comes in and this could be a situation that some of you men are going to be connecting with someone who is a Pisces, um, a Cancer or a Scorpion and this is a karmatic relationship, a karmatic relationship. Let's look and see what is the outcomes for you Tauruses the haze of cups isn't this wonderful oh my god because I thought what is going to come out at the end so at the end of the day you have the energy of the ace of cups and this is good so whatever has transpired the energy of the tower in this month is actually cleansing a lot of situation because your outcomes for this month your outcomes for this month is the ace of cups so this is wonderful because what this is actually saying um, is that um, there were situation that took place because you have the three of swords in the reverse form the three of swords came up in the reverse forms because the energy of the devil was there in the three of swords that was a situation that your financial situation was blocked or people things and places okay and this is what I'm receiving that if people try to block your financial situation okay and um what has transpired is that whoever these negative energies and negative people who were um, that were wanted to bring you in hardship and that sort of a thing especially for um, you um, either men or women between the ages of 18 or 40 this is going to be clearing up um, whoever this person was it is someone who you know and someone is going to come in and help you with the situation this person is someone who is younger than you and is a uh, Pisces cancer or scorpion and it is a woman who is going to come in and help you out you men okay so it's in the same age group it's 18 to until 40 so it's in that same age group for the rest of the people it's going to be a positive um, month in the sense of um, you're balancing out karmatic situation um, some of you are going to be having and meeting someone new there is a new uh, connection meeting someone new for you for most of you guys you're going to be meeting someone new for most of you you guys there is going to be a cleansing that means whatever negative situation you have been in for a very long time this cleansing is going to come out and the outcomes is going to be the ace of cups and the ace of cups energy is always very positive the ace of cups energy is new love that is coming in um new love that is coming in from people you know people are wow oh my gosh okay if this you know person I've gone through so many things and whatever the outbreak was with your financial situation not to worry because someone um, a lady who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion is going to come in this is someone who is new um, and this person is you know really cares cares for you really like you and she is going to help you out in 
um, and, 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 and a lot of ways um, whatever it is you're working hard and trying to build something and uh, um, there is someone a lady um, over the age of 40 that is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius is going to connect with you and she's going to um, um, nurture you and protect you as if she you were all honed and, and and this is going to be very wonderful very positive okay very wonderful very positive um, the, the, the focus of uh, this month is going to focus this month is going to focus on the people between the ages of 18 and 20 and, and 40 and it's all about you coming out of a hardship and someone this this the older person this lady who is an Aries Lee or, or Sagittarius is going to protect you and it's going to have your back in all aspect and in all sense um, it's, it's, it's as if in the in the first week and the second week it's not going to be one of those it's as if the energy of the tower is moving away something that you're going to feel a loss but you're going to think okay whatever and um, and in the second week you have to deal with some lower energy people and some um, sort of a things that were coming at you but that's okay because um, the third week the energy of the wheel of fortune is going to come up with the energy of the lovers so in the third week moving on to the fourth week some people are going to have luck in the third week with an organization um, so whatever negative things that was happening in the organization the first and second week that is going to be playing out and the second the the the, the rest of the time there is going to you're just going to move on on a new journey in your life and this is going to be good so it's as if you're moving away from an organization and going forward on a new journey on a new part that is going to really really help you um, to move forward in your life and this is going to be extremely extremely good okay so um new love um is going to come in it's it's a positive month that um new love is going to come in and this is going to be positive so let's see what is happening for you guys oh my god this is so wonderful this is beautiful this is beautiful let's see um this orb what is happening and a lot of people have been mailing me and um, telling me about a blue orb that is um behind me or beside me um so uh, thank you yes i've seen it <laughs> okay um let's um first look to see if um there are any more energies because 15 um that is six the number six is going to play a vital role in your life number six is going to play a very um, a vital role in your life um, so it's all about your material your materialistic worlds but new love is going to come in someone who is a lady and um, a, you know a lady who is an Aries Leo a fire sign lady is going to come in and really protect you and the daughter of cups um, it's going to come in for you younger people and you're going to connect and the energy because this is your end energy and this is going to be positive because this is a new love coming in um, you have the energy of Mother Mary and Archangel Zachiel that is around you so call upon this energy call upon Mother Mary and Archangel Zachiel to be with you remember your, your energy is going to be um, number six okay we're working with the ascendance master or the solar black chakras uh, and then uh, the ascendance master so let's see what is happening and what is transpiring for the um, Virgo people for February and you have the 12 chakras so um, you Virgos have to work on the 12 chakras so what you have to do is um, do the affirmation and it's three times and then you say it is done so will it be okay so you said I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras it is so and it will be I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras it is so and it will be I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras it is so and it will be the fall of Atlantis 
five of our 12 chakras close ascend ascension start when we once more activate our 12 fifth dimension chakras this brings to reconnect the 12 strands of DNA so that we can reclaim our true spirit and psychic gifts your guidance is to ask the unicorn to touch open and activate your earth star chakra base star chakra navel chakra solar plex chakra art chakra throat chakra third eye chakra Coswell chakra soul star chakra and the stellar gateway chakra then ask the angels to sing over you so that your chakras will vibrate in a fifth dimension frequency this is very very good to do all the time because what it does is cleanse and awaken your 12 chakras um, only light workers were born with all 12 chakras open and not all the time not all light workers um, um, and um, some of us have to open up our chakras but mostly I frequency people um, people with their art chakras open and uh, um, know who they were um, they their chakras they have 12 um, 12 DNA straw chakras okay let's see what the energy is for the Virgo in the month of February 2018 and you have 12 change so orange and red is going to be your energy vibration so let's look at this the frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality both inwards and outwards so that we can appreciate the sweet um, release of the old and the birth of the new so this is wonderful this is good this is a positive energies look at this energy it's going to activate um, because this is the uh, sacred geometry activation and this is going to be wonderful okay so I want to say to each and every person out there um, thank you for connecting with me I am hoping and wishing the best for this month whatever needs to leave your life let it go because obviously um, it is something that needs that no longer serve you so you just need um, uh, to leave it behind and go forward and uh, ladies and gentlemen namaste until next time